Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. Very proud of us. Um, so let's go ahead and get this daily check-in started. Let's take out our breathing tool and take three deep breaths together. You guys ready? Last one, blow anything out of your body that was that was from this week that you don't want to bring into this weekend. Good job, guys. All right, so let's get into our sharing feelings. Um, I've actually got a couple of feelings that I want to share, and my very first one is one that I think a lot of people are probably feeling a little bit more lately, um, and it is kind of a hard feeling. I wonder, could you maybe guess what you think this is? Or throw out, what does that look like for you? This feeling is insecure. So I sort of, this feeling for me represents like insecure, worried, um, maybe yeah, like worried. Um, so I have been feeling this feeling quite a bit lately. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff happening um, in our world, not just our nation, just in our world that is making me feel pretty insecure. You know, whether it's financially, whether it's um, with health and wellness, um, honestly, there's so many things that I'm feeling worried and insecure about. And if you guys don't know what insecure means, think about, um, it's sort of like you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. So if you're in your car and you're driving and you have your seatbelt on, you would feel secure. But if your seatbelt was off and you were driving, you would feel less secure. So you would be insecure. Um, let's just like a little example. But, you know, even just going to the grocery store, I went to Costco to get milk and diapers, and I was feeling much more insecure about that experience than I normally would a month ago. Um, so, yeah, if, this is a pretty big feeling for me. I'm sure there's a lot of you who are me too and me right now and telling me that you've got some of these feelings. Um, this is a feeling that we need to listen to. It's okay to have this feeling. Ask it, what it, What do you need from me so that you don't feel so heavy? Um, just like we worked on on Monday. But also sometimes, you guys, these feelings remind me they exist for a reason. It's probably really good that I'm not feeling as safe and secure when I'm going to Costco so that I am more cautious. It's, it's something to listen to rather than being afraid of this feeling, listening to this feeling and reminding myself I have this feeling for a reason I need to take good care of myself. So um, that is one feeling I'm having. But there is another feeling I have. I like this one a lot. What do you think this is? This is excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited it's Friday. As you guys can probably tell by now, I love Fridays. Fridays are definitely Fridays for me. Um, but also, next week is spring break, so it's going to be a whole week of putting our, our schoolwork down and spending time with family and just putting lots of love and self-care into ourselves and the people around us. And I'm really, really excited about that. So let's now use this opportunity to check in with each other. Let's press pause, turn and talk with the people around you. Or if you're with yourself, you know what to do. Grab that journal or send me a quick email with how you're feeling today. So go ahead and do that now. Good job, guys. And um, welcome back. So today is Friday. It's fun Friday. Um, I, I have to tell you, I have received so many beautiful, amazing emails from people. And I know I've been saying that a lot lately. But the videos that you're sending, the pictures and drawings that you're sending, and even just the kind words that you're sending have been so uplifting. They've been so motivating. And um, I have to tell you, like, anything from 
people emailing me and saying, we love your videos, people emailing me the beautiful drawings, or even saying, hey, we heard you don't have coffee, can we buy you some? You might think that's a small thing. That is such an amazing gesture, and it's so kind that it just makes me feel so amazing. And when people do kind things for you, it fills up your bucket, right? Um, and when when you do kind things for people, that also fills up your bucket. And it, what I mean by fills up your bucket is it fills you with love and happiness. And I have to be honest, you guys have done that for me. And so what I thought would be fun, since we have a whole week off from each other, I thought um, we should do a kindness challenge for spring break. And one really, I, I'll show you how my family is going to measure our kindness challenge. We're going to take a kindness challenge. Um, but, you know, there's so many things that we can do for our community, for our families, and for ourselves that we need to do so much now more than ever before. And kindness has many levels, right? Something as little as sending an email to somebody and saying something nice goes so far. And I say all the time, our behaviors and our attitudes are contagious. And when I say that they're contagious, I mean that they're motivating. They make us want, they make other people want to do the same thing. So when someone does something kind for me, it then in return makes me want to do something kind for them. And so I thought for the kindness challenge, I'm actually going to read you guys this book. It's called Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler. And um, it's a great book, I think, because there's lots of ideas that the students do for kindness. And so it's a little bit longer than some of the books that I've read to you in the past. So, um, you know, you'll probably just be a little more patient than usual, but it's going to give you some really good ideas of some things that you could do to be kind um, during spring break. So go ahead and sit back and let's read Kindness is Cooler, Mrs. Ruler. It's a really big book too, so it might be kind of awkward when I'm reading it. It was cold, it was rainy, and Mrs. Ruler's class hadn't been outside all week. The students were getting jumpy and grumpy. Anaya and Tawana whispered during story time. Oh my goodness. This group is for sure in the yellow zone. <laughs> David pulled Rukalita's ponytail and Rukalia stole his hat. Then David grabbed Connor's hat and threw it into the hall. That's enough. Too rough, shouted Mrs. Ruler. The bell rang. It was time for recess. As the kids left, Mrs. Ruler kept Anaya, Tawana, Connor, Rukalita, and David behind. Sit down. Don't frown, she said. Yikes. Now tell me, why do you think I've kept you in from recess? We were acting up, mumbled Connor. That's right. You were being mean to one another. And you acted as if it was cruel to be mean. But it's not. What is a crueler way to act? Rukalita spoke up. Kindness is cooler, Mrs. Ruler, she said. Bravo. A slice of nice makes a mile of smile. You five need to practice being kind. During the next few days, I want you to perform five acts of kindness for your families. Then, in show and tell, you can share what you did with the rest of the class. David scowled. What if I don't feel like being kind, he asked. Mrs. Ruler smiled. Good deeds fill needs. Count on me, you'll see. 
she said. You guys can tell which one is David, right? <laughs> the next day, Anaya and Tawana couldn't wait for show and tell. When it was their turn, they ran to the front of the class. We did 10 acts of kindness, said Tawana. Before dinner, I made special placemats. I set the table, said Anaya. I drew hearts on napkins to show mom we love her, said Tawana. I grated the cheese for the macaroni, said Anaya. I helped make the salad, said Tawana. After dinner, we carried the dishes to the sink, said Anaya. And I loaded the dishwasher, said Tawana. While I, took off, while I took out the garbage, said Anaya. Then I sponged off the table, said Tawana. And I straightened up the chairs, finished Anaya. Mom told us how much she liked our, home, our homework. It put her in such a good mood that we wanted to go do nice things for her. More nice things for her. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. Ten kind acts will lead to more. Give me the chalk and I'll keep score. Then she wrote the twins' deeds on the blackboard. She's such a happy teacher. When she was finished, she looked at David. What about you? she asked. Did you practice too? No, said David. I just couldn't get into it. Oh, my, please try. Kindness is cooler, said Mrs. Ruler. After school, Rukalita invited Connor over for a play date. Let's see if I can. She had a new dog and a big family, so there were a lot of ways Rukalita and Connor could practice being kind. In show and tell the next day, they shared kindness with the class. We took the poodle for a walk, said Rukalita, and we threw him a ball. I filled his water dish, said Connor, and I gave him some puppy chow, said Rukalita. Puppy chow, wow, said Mrs. Ruler. Then we built a block tower with my little brother said Rukalita, and gave, Ab <laughs> and gave Abuelo and Abuelita their canes before they took their walk. We also helped Rukalita's dad carry in groceries from the car, said Connor. Oh, where, where did that one go? So here it is. That's not all, said Connor. When I got home, I took in the mail, and I also carried the clean laundry upstairs. Bravo, said Mrs. Ruler. All together, you did 10. And now, how much do the twins, wait, and how much do the twins 10 X and your 10 make? 20, shouted the class. That's right, said Mrs. Ruler. Twenty is plenty. But how about you, David? What did you do? Too few for you, said David, and the class laughed. I told my brother I liked his hat, <coughs> and I let him use my comb. That's all I could think of. Well, that's a good start. Keep doing your part, said Mrs. Ruler. Lauren raised her hand. I'd like to try some acts of kindness when I get home today, too, she said. Okay, hooray, said Mrs. Ruler. Let's turn this into a class project. For the rest of the week, I'd like you to bring in some acts of kindness you've done at home. I'll write your acts on paper hearts and put them on the bulletin board. 
And then I'll also add ones from the blackboard. Look how happy everyone is about doing kind things. <laughs> More acts. Putting away clothes. Vacuuming the living room rug. Shelved books. Let my big brother use my computer. Told dad I liked his shirt. Got a sister a band-aid when she skinned her knee. And more kindness. Cleaned my room. Fed the goldfish. Emptied the wastebasket. Watered house plants. Put groceries away. Drew pictures with my little sister. Aww. Told my sister she has nice teeth. <laughs> she sure does. The class really came through. We have so many. We'll need another wall, said Mrs. Ruler. Let's count. One two, three. The kids counted until they reached 35. Bravo, said their teacher. Now try skip counting by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, shouted the class. That's right, you're bright, said Mrs. Ruler. We should keep going with this project. Now let's try some acts of kindness at school. I'll add those to the wall too. Don't forget, a slice of nice makes a, smi a mile of smile. As Mrs. Ruler kept cutting out more hearts, Connor and Pablo tried some school kindness too. They invited David to sit with them at lunch. But when they finished their sandwich, David took one of Connor's cookies. Hey, quit, said Connor. He grabbed David's lunch bag and threw it over his head. Stop, said Pablo. Don't you remember that Mrs. W what Mrs. Ruler said? Good deeds fill needs. David, don't grab. And Connor, you still have four cookies. Why don't you share them with David and me? Oops, said Connor, you're right. For a moment I forgot about being kind. And Connor gave some cookies to his friends. I agree. Here are three. Yum, said David. I'm going to ask my babysitter to help me make some cookies when I get home. And then you can bring them to school, said Pablo. And share them with the whole class, added Connor. And Mrs. Ruler will congratulate me for being extra kind, said David. But I still won't have done as many acts of kindness as everyone else. So think of other things to catch up, said Pablo. <coughs> David didn't have to think for long. That afternoon, when Caitlin was cleaning the gerbil cage, the gerbil got loose. One even jumped to the window ledge. Mrs. Ruler hopped on a chair. Eek! Squeak! she cried. Everyone ran for cover. Everyone but David. Ooh, David's so brave. He chased the gerbils. He scooped them up one by one. Then he set them back where they belong. Hooray for David, yelled the class. Your act of kindness was the best, cried Mrs. Ruler. Now go on home and do the rest. She jumped off her chair and added the act of kindness to the wall for that week. Mrs. Ruler and the class counted all the hearts. By now, the class had done 70 acts of kindness. That's great! 
But wait, said Mrs. Ruler, there's more in store. Let's keep going and spread some kindness beyond school. There are lots of kind acts you can do in the community. But we're just little kids, said David. How can we do stuff outside of the house and school? I'll ask your parents to, to work with your community kindness. And I'll help too, said Mrs. Ruler. All it takes is one simple act, one act of kindness that will make the world a better place. If you act from your heart and do your part, we'll end with 100 acts of kindness altogether. Now the class was really excited, and David was more excited than anyone. A few weeks later, the kids shared their acts of community kindness. Mrs. Ruler added more hearts to the wall. Again, the class counted. One, two, three, until they got to 99. Then she paused and thought for a moment. I know, let's have a class party. We'll decorate and celebrate. 100 acts of kindness, shouted the class. Hey, Rose. Okay, hooray. I told you that book was a little <laughs> longer than some of the other books that I've read to you in the past. Um, but it's a really good one, right? It gives you lots of examples of little things, bigger things that you can do. Acts of kindness can be as little as hugging someone and saying, I love you. As little as, wow, your hair looks pretty today. Or, oh my gosh, I love that shirt that you're wearing. It doesn't have to be anything overloaded, but you know, even making some cookies for your neighbor, or hey, we know our hospitals are inundated with lots of hardworking, incredible people called doctors and nurses and any caregivers maybe bring them some donuts, <laughs> you know, do something kind that will put a smile on their face and continue that contagious, that contagious feeling and behavior that we get when people do nice and kind things for us. So here's what my family is going to do for the next week with this kindness challenge. We are going to, I know in the book, they add hearts to a wall and you can absolutely do that in your home. You can add Hey, Rory, can you please turn that down? Thank you. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to make a chain. Because I know, um, you know, like I said in the book, they do the hearts on the wall, and that might be really fun. But um, we want to see how far our kindness can go by making a chain. And so we have a couple on here already. One of them I put that I helped Rory pick up toys. I thought that was pretty kind of me. And then another one was when we were um, we were at Costco and um, we let somebody go ahead of us in line because we could tell that they were feeling really anxious being there. And so we let someone go ahead of us in line. And so the way that you make the chains is you can just take, you don't have to have colored paper, you can just take regular paper and you cut just like a little piece, a little sliver, and then you write whatever kindness thing you did, and then you take it and you put it through one of your loops and just loop it around and tape the two ends together right here. And then it will continue to make your chain, and the more kindness that you do, the longer that your kindness chain will become. And then you can even see, can we make this go across our living room? Oh my gosh, can our kindness chain go across our whole bedroom? Um, it might be really fun to see how far your kindness can go. So if you guys want to join the kindness challenge with me, I would love to see and hear about some of the kind things that you're doing. Please remember that kindness doesn't only go for other people. It can also go for yourself. So if you um, do something nice for yourself, please.
please add it to your chain. You are just as, if not the mo more important to you than anybody else. So if you want to be kind to others, remember that that does include you and be kind to yourself. Okay, you guys, super long video and I really apologize for that. Apparently, I'm really excited about doing some kind things. So go ahead, start off your kindness. Have an amazing spring break. Please continue your social distancing. Please continue reaching out to me and telling me how you're feeling. Share with me any... Um, concerns that you have. If you guys want help with anything, you know I'm here for you. Um, please put down your schoolwork and enjoy a relaxing week. It will be there when you get back after spring break. Don't worry. Okay, I love all of you guys. I miss you so, so much. Have a great week off and I'll see you after spring break. Bye guys.